A North OMP, Samuel Kujitua Blackwa, has claimed that President Ekufuado hired an ultra luxurious VIP jet at $14,000 per hour on his trip to Germany last week. He has accused the president of wanton abuse of discretion in the decision to hire the jet at that rate. President Ekufuado traveled to Germany last Sunday on the invitation of Chancellor Angela Merkel. Commenting on the journey in a Facebook post on Tuesday, August 31, Kujitua Blakwa said, quote, it has become absolutely imperative to demand a national policy on presidential travels akin to what pertains in other jurisdictions. This, he says, will avoid the wanton abuse of discretion by the president at the expense of a suffering taxpayer. Former Deputy Communications Minister Felix Kwachiofus who joins me on the line. Thank you, Felix, for joining us. This is a matter that you have spoken very seriously about. I remember when the President embarked on those foreign travels to Belgium, France, and South Africa, you were one of the lead voices in advocating the use of a presidential jet for some of these travels to cut down on the expenditure. Now we're having this other one being unearthed by the uh, Samuel Kulitua Blackwa. How do you react to this? Well, the latest development puts it beyond doubt that President Akufuado and his Vice President Baumia have absolutely no respect for the sensibilities and views of the Ghanaian public. Because one would have thought that after having come under public criticism and intense bashing after the wasteful rental of the ACJ meal to Belgium, France, and, the UK, and, and South Africa, he would have at least taken a cue and acted in a manner that was commensurate with public expectation. But no sooner had the dust on the first controversy died than he hopped onto another extravagant jet, this time costing us anything between fourteen to $22,000 an hour on, on a trip to the UK and Germany at the time that we have a presidential jet, which in any event in July underwent maintenance and therefore is in pristine condition to cater to the mm. travel needs of the president. What right. it shows is that it does not matter how loudly you and I yell about corruption or how strongly we condemn President Akufuado and Atabamiya's corruption. They will continue to do it to the extent that they have political power. So this brings into sharp focus the point that President Mahama made recently on his thank you talk. That the only way that the people of Ghana and exact any measure of accountability from the Akufuado Baumia government is to put them out in 2020-24 so that a new government will hold them accountable mm. and make them answer for wasteful, ostentatious, and extravagant waste and misuse of right. the public health in a manner that they are doing. Uh, and Otherwise, mm. yeah. Sorry, sorry for cutting you, but some have said, for example, if these kinds of expenditures continue and the president decides to hire other jets for his foreign travels, then the Embraer, the presidential jet, which is lying in the hangar there, will not be, you know, useful anymore, so it must be sold off. Is this something you subscribe to? We do not need to sell off the aircraft. That aircraft is fairly new. As I told you, in July, it went to France to Dassault, the manufacturers, for regular maintenance. So it is in very good condition. It has sufficient range to be able to go to any European capital and beyond. So the president can use it. Except that this president believes that he must live like an Arabian king in a country that has the sort of serious financial difficulties that we have. Only last week, they went cap in hand begging for a bailout of $1 billion from the IMF. This is a government that is unable to print textbooks for basic school people. So for almost one academic year, basic two years after a new curricula was developed, basic school pupils do not have access to textbooks to use. Right. As I speak to you, they are unable to give public sector workers any substantial wage increments. They say they can only do 4%. And the reason for that, according to them, is that we are hard-pressed for cash. Okay. This is a government that is paying under one Ghana city per child for the school feeding program. And yet, is able to dole out between fourteen to twenty-two thousand dollars an hour to rent an aircraft for the president at the time when we already have the presidential aircraft. So I think that the people of Ghana have sufficient evidence that this president and his vice president Baumia and his government officials are simply intransigent 
they do not respect the voters who put them in office. Okay. They think that the public press is Fela Kufuado's heirloom, and he can do as he pleases with it. So we need to advise ourselves accordingly. When the time comes for us to vote in 2024, that is the only way that we can put an end to this malfeasance, corruption, and waste of public resources. Thank you.